Here are the best e-bikes in Singapore for 2023. Hello everybody, my name is Bobby. I'm from Bobot. We are the largest e-mobility retailer in Singapore. Uh, over the years, we have been doing best e-bike videos both in 2020 and 2021 to allow consumers to be able to choose uh, what e-bike is suitable for them. So this year, uh, we did the video a bit late. It's entering into 2023. So I thought, why not we just uh, list out the best e-bikes for 2023. Of course, being from Mobot, uh, you know, I will try to keep my views and um, the entire of this video as unbiased as possible and most of these are coming from my personal experience uh, of retailing and riding e-bikes for the past few years. Okay, so um, first off, let's begin with a bit of timeline, a bit of history of e-bikes. All e-bikes in Singapore have to be certified under EM15194 certification. So this is a European standard uh, for e-bikes, okay, power assist bicycles in particular. Previously, the government allowed for those that are certified under the 2009 to 2011 standard. However, in July 2021, all future e-bikes that want to pass LTA certification must be certified under the 2017 EM15194 standard. As such, you can see that there is a huge uh, wipeout of e-bikes from the market of course, in 2019, uh, towards the end of the year, we suffered the e-scooter ban. So that's where a lot of uh, consumers actually changed over to e-bikes, especially food delivery riders and those commuting to work. So back then, there weren't a lot of e-bikes available. Um, and fast forward to COVID, which is in the start of 2020, uh, there were also only a few models. Singapore is seeing a bicycle boom during the pandemic. Food delivery companies here are seeing more people apply to join as delivery riders. So over the year, uh, on, until 2021, the amount of models grew. But right now, there is another reset due to this brand new legislation required, which is the 2017 EN15194. Of course, all of the e-bikes that we are going to talk about today are all Orange Tech certified and to the newest EM15194 2017 standards, um, other than our honourable mentions. In the course of this time, uh, retailers had the opportunity to explore better e-bikes of larger battery capacity and higher voltage as well. This gave rise to e-bikes that were 48 volt instead of the traditional uh, 36 volt e-bike. So let me explain to you, people might get confused, what is the difference between 36 volt and 48 volt e-bikes? 36 volt allows for higher torque when you are riding the e-bike as it allows for a 48 volt motor. Uh, as opposed to the 36 volt, uh, it's slightly lower in torque. So, how do you calculate capacity between a 36 volt e-bike versus a 48 volt e-bike? All you have to do is times the voltage and the ampere hour. For example, um, JMOV MC is 36 volt 21 AH. So you times that together, is around 700 plus watt hour. Uh, whereas on the other hand, some e-bike that might seem smaller in the size of the AH, but it is 48 volt, will actually be a larger capacity uh, battery e-bike. Okay, so to start us off on the top eight e-bikes in Singapore for 2023, we have number eight, which is the EcoDrive 48 volt. So those of you guys that know EcoDrive, the original version is very, very popular. Uh, however, it was only uh, registered for EN15194 to the 2009 version. So this uh, upgraded model is following the latest legislation. It has, of course, a larger battery size at 48 volt, um, as well as a sports rim also. Okay, so let's take a look at the battery capacity first. This brings us battery capacity of 48 volt, 10.5 AH. So let's calculate that. 48 times 10.5 is 504 watt hours of battery capacity. Okay, so I would say this one is one of the smallest battery sizes out there available. If you want to purchase this e-bike, you would rather purchase maybe number seven on the list, which uh, is the same price as this e-bike at 1599. Okay, who is the EcoDrive for the 8 volt for? Mainly for food delivery riders and people doing commutes. 
Now, let's go to number 7. It is the KOL Max. Okay? A bit of history about it. If you take a look at the shape and all this, it's similar to the Kudu. Uh, very, very similar, but of course, it also has a larger battery size right now. At the same cost of the e-bike as stated in number 8, you can get a way larger battery capacity. Okay, let me show you the size. This is a 48 volt, 14.48 battery, which brings you to 691 watt hours. This is around 40%, correct my math, but 40% larger than the EcoDrive's battery capacity. However, uh, the drawback from this might be what we experienced with the Kudu as well as a slower pickup speed. Uh, the speed of acceleration is not so good as compared to the other e-bike models. Of course, if you're a food delivery rider going for this kind of range, as well as commuters, okay, uh, they are looking to go around. This is the KOL Max. Now, number six, the Mobot S3 e-bike. So this is one of the most coolest e-bike out there with the nicest frame and nice colors. This has seven-speed Shimano Turny drivetrain. So it is the only one on the list with a rear derailleur. Okay, what that means is not only can you use it to pedal uh, while you click on the assist mode, but even when you switch off the power of the e-bike, you can also pedal uh, upslope. This also helps you to save electricity uh, or charge on your battery when you are pedaling with different gear ratios. Okay, so the S3 is a very unique e-bike in the sense that it comes with two different battery capacities. Um, this is something new that LTA has allowed. Uh, so both are inspected. One is, uh, if I'm not wrong, 10.4H, 36 volt 10.4H, the other is 11.2H. So of course, this battery size might be a bit smaller, the voltage might be lesser, it's 36 volt, not 48 volt, but it makes up for that with its rear derailleur. It's a very, very nice e-bike to ride and it's foldable as well. So this is a great choice for those that are riding for commute or you want an e-bike to bring for exercise or something like that because you can put it in your car very, very easily. And also one feature that I missed out is that within the seat hole, there is a battery. So it's very, very easy to swap out the battery for another piece. Uh, even if you're doing food delivery, uh, you can choose this e-bike. Okay, so time for the fifth e-bike on the list. This is the Rogi Max Plus. Okay, this is a 36 volt 21 AH uh, e-bike. Okay, the thing about this, it has large tires. Its frame is very, very nice. And the colors, especially the purple, I really, really like it. This is the same battery size as one of the more popular e-bikes out there, which is the J-Move MC at 36 volt, 21 AH. Uh, however, it does not allow you to fold, um, and this will be great for food delivery riders. Okay, this comes at quite an expensive cost. It is at 1799 for the normal colors and 1850 for the more special colors. So 36 volt, 21 AH, that brings us to 756 watt hours. Okay, so as you can tell, Actually, there isn't such a big difference between a 36 volt 21 AH battery and a 48 volt 14 AH battery. Okay, there's not much difference because of the difference in the voltage. Next up in the list is an e bike that's very, very popular. You will definitely see on the streets. Uh, you'll see a lot of food delivery riders riding it. The fourth e-bike on the list, it is the J-Move MC. Okay, after COVID period, after the circuit breaker period, this was uh, named the largest e-bike battery uh, there is in Singapore. Of course, now it's not anymore, but back then, all the way until uh, maybe 2021, it was the largest battery capacity. This has a 36 volt 21 AH battery capacity. It's also foldable. Uh, it's a nice frame as well, it has nice size, but what I want to warn all the viewers is that it has a very, very small tire size at 14 inch. All the other e-bikes that I talk about today are all at least at 16 inch or above. When the tire is so small, it's very, very easy to skid. Personally, I have seen two accidents. The e-bike, whether it's in the rain or gonna hit by car or they slip or whatever. So it's very, very dangerous if you do not have good grip with the ground. So if you decide to purchase this e-bike for its value, uh, it's only priced at 1299 and it has great new colors as well, you must be careful for your safety. Okay, now we have something exciting for you guys. Blast from the past, we have five honorable mentions before we start off with 
top three e-bikes that you should purchase in 2023. Okay, so starting off, this list is the original Eco Drive. Uh, back in the day, it was very popular. Everybody was purchasing this. It only cost nine hundred and fifty dollars to purchase. Uh, so it was one of our top selling uh, e-bike models. The next one is the Zebra e-bike. Uh, a lot of people still stick to it because they say the acceleration is strong and all that, but. Uh, Unfortunately, it's not within the newest set of 2017 uh, EN15194 certification. Uh, somehow or another, LTA love to catch and check this e-bike. The next one is the JMove LC. This is the first e-bike made by the JMove company. Very, very small and is discontinued. This e-bike was the last e-bike model to be released before Circuit Breaker in 2020. The next one is the Nexus. Uh, Nexus is the start of the foldable e-bike. This is even before the JMove LC. Uh, very convenient to bring around, convenient to take up the battery size as well. Last but not least, this is the OVO e-bike. This is the first dual battery e-bike in Singapore. Very, very interesting, nice frame, uh, big wheels as well, quick detachable wheels. Uh, and also it has an anti theft alarm. Okay, so now are you guys ready uh, to bring in the top three e-bikes? Here we go. So starting off at number three, okay, we have the leader e-bike. This is a 48 volt 14 AH e-bike. Uh, it's foldable, it has the fat tire, and also it is 20 inch and uh, it has a low grip frame which allows you to go on top and come down very very easily it is very very stable to ride around thanks to its huge tires and it has decent battery capacity size okay let's just calculate that against um, the fourth e-bike on the list so this is 48 volt 14 ah which brings us to 672 watt hours as compared to 36 volt 21 ah which is 756 so it's slightly smaller uh, watt hours than the JMOOC MC. However, uh, because it's 48 volt, there's more torque on the e bike. Okay, so this is also a very, very affordable and well priced e bike at 1599 for such a huge battery capacity. Now, number two, this is one of the favorite e bikes on everyone's mind. We call it the beast. Okay, so this is the Orca e-bike again we call it the Orca 2.0 right now it has 48 volt 17.5 inch battery capacity okay so this was the e-bike that could finally defeat the JMove MC from its reign of the largest battery capacity uh, and it did a very very good job so let's just calculate 48 volt times 17.5 that brings us to 840 watt hour is bigger than the JMO MC. Uh, it has 16 inch tires, which I say is very important for safety. It also has fat tire. These are off road tires, so meaning you can go to any terrain with ease. You don't have to worry, and it's foldable. Okay, so uh, the Oka definitely is suitable for everyone, food delivery, commuters as well. It's very, very valuable for money also. Now, let's go to the number one e bike on the list. Drum roll. Okay, we sound great, the enthusiasm. First on the list, we have the brand new release Ultra e bike from Mobile. Okay, this should not be a surprise. Uh, this has really changed the game forever in the e bike industry in Singapore. This is a 48 volt 25 AH battery capacity e bike. Let's just do a quick calculation 48 times 25, that brings us to 1200 watt hours, which is close to twice the size of uh, the JMove MC and it's 1.5 times the size of the Orca battery. The thing about it is not foldable but because it's smaller frame, it allows you to put on the car as well as compared to those bigger frame e-bikes like the Eco Drive where you can't put them in a normal car. Okay, what else about the small frame that I really really like? It's very easy to maneuver uh, when you're riding around, you want to make quick turns, it's very very simple. Yeah, we have personally done a 24 hours ride on this Ultra e-bike to test its capabilities. By the time our video uh, comes out, okay, uh, it should be in the link below. So if you want to watch a real world test on the Ultra e-bike's battery capacity, click on the link below. The Ultra e-bike is great for not just uh, food delivery riders, okay, it's also great for commuters. Even if you just, you know, want uh, transport to and do a little bit of exercise, it's great as well because you don't have to charge it uh, over maybe a week or even two weeks and you can still keep on using the battery. 
In conclusion, these are the top 8 e-bikes in 2023 in Singapore that are Orange Tech certified. Um, so I hope that this video really helps you and you make the right purchase. Before I end out this video, there's something I want to talk about which is installment plans for e-bike, okay? So of course here at Mobot, we have multiple installment plans. Uh, if you are using an e-bike for food delivery, definitely you don't want to spend so much money upfront uh, to purchase it. What you can do, you can use our installment. We have credit card installment plan and uh, even Latitude Pay, Funbox and Grab Pay later as well. All these are available. Uh, some of it comes without the need of a credit card and uh, most of it is interest free as well up to 36 uh, months of installment. Okay, so if you have any questions, do write down in the comments below. Okay, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe. <laughs> I hope I'm pressing it correctly, subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know anything about any of the e-bikes, just leave it in the comments or ask us directly. Okay, so uh, we have outlets island-wide in Singapore. You can come down to any of the outlets to test drive any of the e-bikes as stated in this video. If you are purchasing an e-bike, make sure to follow the rules and regulations as stated by LTA. You can find it in the link below. Okay, we'll just put them down there. Okay, remember to always, always ride safe and Hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.